Good morning, good evening, good day. It's Tracy back from Metal House. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing fabulous. Today, we've got a Timu haul, but it is diamond painting. Whee! So this is a diamond painting haul number three, because the first two that I did, I've completed all those diamond paintings. So I had to do another one to keep me busy. So I thought, if I've got to order some diamond paintings, you might as well see them at the same time. So, let me show you what I got. As normal, I put all the direct links down to the the items on Timu down below in the description for you, and the prices that I paid at the time of ordering. I mean, I might have had um, refunds, because you get like 30 days from the order, I used to think it was 30 days from when you got it delivered, but it's not. It's 30 days from the order time, because if you keep checking like one or two times a day, it, it can add up. So, okay, it's about 30 days-ish from order. So even on the day you order, you could check four hours later to make sure <laughs> you don't need a refund, <laughs> which I do all the time now. Anyway. So yes, all the actual prices that I paid upon ordering are down below for you. Um, we're not sponsored as per normal. It's just my solid opinion. Say solid opinion. That's debatable at times. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let's go down onto the desk. Now this time I've put, because um, I've got a Caterpillar Glow, the Ultra um edge to edge so it's massive it's like it's this big my light box um i took the mat off it and i've put the diamond paintings on top of that i'm hoping it doesn't come out too glowy and that we can see it a bit clearer and i think this time we'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see the symbols actually on on the diamond paintings themselves. So let's see if I can achieve that as well. <laughs> so let's go down on the desk. Okay, we're down on the desk. I've got my big light board here. Um, it's huge. It's from Caterpillar and it's um, called Edge to Edge. So it's the Caterpillar Glow, the Ultra version. And it's, it's huge, it's about, 29 inch i think <laughs> but i've left that on the desk for now and we'll open up a few of these diamond paintings because from the last two hauls i finished all those so i'm eager to start another one so here's my little next batch what should we start with <laughs> let's start with this one <laughs> So the first one is these, and I paid, originally paid £3.44 for these. Um, I actually can't remember if I've had any um, refunds on it. There's the regular boat. This is little threads. Look at the little diamonds. Have you tried these yet? I haven't. This will be my first. So that's like, is that elastic? No, it's just a nice bit of cord. And a, a ring ready to go on the end. And you get like a little gem as well. Ah. <laughs> like a teardrop. So how many teardrops? One, two, three, four, five. Five teardrops and five little ring holders. That back in there. Cute. And these are to go on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there must have been six in here then. Let me just double check. <laughs> Trace, one, two. Three, four, yeah, six. Duh. <laughs> I 
and six feathers and basically they're clear clear plastic pretty much that's the back with the pattern on the front and I assume you take this front off and it becomes sticky so that you can put all the gems on it that are in this bag and look there's some big gems not just the little gems let's open this one up yeah you've got some like teardrop shape gems in this one too We're going smaller oh there's like love hearts in this one and then we go on to the different shiny sparkly tiny beads these are quite tiny so there are the different gems and obviously um the pattern should speak for itself like can you see in the center there that big white one will be the massive big red i should imagine gem because it looks like it'll fit that slot Do you see what i mean so it should be straightforward <laughs> she says but they have got little numbers on them and letters on them as well just like all the others so let's lay these out and these could be bookmarks i think they pretty much set them up as bookmarks because You've got a little hole here on the end to put the little string in and the gem. That's quite cute. I've not done anything like this before, but that's the six feathers down there. And the gems. Let's have a quick scanning in on them okay have you got that <laughs> seems a bit dingy in here today the weather is bad here today so that's the cute little feathers i like them what do you think of those there's something different. I might enjoy doing them. I might do them first.
I got I picked up two of these on two different hauls funnily enough but I've left them for the same time and basically you just stick it around the edge and because you know you get that extra bit of glue all around the edge it's to stick it around there <laughs> any tape would do it really washi tape would do it as well but I saw this on the site and I thought I might as well get it while I'm here and it was only a pound something so I got those it's about three quarters of an inch wide, that one, roughly. Don't know how long, but you can see there. It's, it's quite a nice size roll. But we'll try them. Try that out and let you know on those two. Right, let's open our first diamond painting. What is this one? It's a 30 by 40. Get it open, then I'll know which one it is, and I can say the price. <laughs> I can see a butterfly, but I also ordered dragonfly, so I'm not sure which one it is. Aha! It's dragonflies. This one. Can't see with that, can you? Almost. Look, there's the top, and there's the bottom. So there's Dragonfly, and there is 24 different colours on this one. That's quite nice. That's quite pretty, that one. Ooh. Do you want me to turn on my light board so you can see actually what that's like? Let me put this on because it'll show you what it's like to do it with a light board as well. That's the brightest, which might be glaring you a little bit, I'd have thought. Let's push those to the side. But when you, you can see the letters a little bit clearer, I mean, hopefully when we zoom in, you'll see what I mean. Let me turn it sideways so that you can get it all in. Right, <laughs> so there's Dragonfly. 24 pretty colours on that one by the looks of it. Now let's turn the board off and do a zoomy in. So that's dragonflies. I really like that one. I really like that one quite a lot. Yup. It's all big alphabet letters. No numbers. Weirdly, it starts off with K-R-P instead of A-B-C. <laughs> Look, on the legend. K-R-P. <laughs> it's all mixed up. That's a B. Okay, all right, it's the first mix up one I've come across. But yeah, I'm gonna like doing that one, I think. That one looks pretty good. Yay, okay. So it came with a normal boat. And now these beads are in resealable bags, which is always nice. Because when I get the sealable bags, I don't use my pots. I just use them in and out of the bags. And they're already numbered up. <laughs> yep, nice. Because I've noticed most of the time it tends to be like the Disney-based ones that come in these sealable bags and everything else comes in bags that you've got to cut. But this one, sealable bags. Like that. Nice. Gonna enjoy that one. So there's the actual diamond painting number one. Two if you classify the feathers. <laughs> right, I've got to make sure I don't mix them up. 
How much was dragonflies, actually? Dragonflies, I think, was about £1.37. I know, bargain. That's why I jump on them. I jump on them when they're a good price. And sometimes, unless I fall in love with the picture, and then I'll pay, depending on how much I love the picture. <laughs> This one is Volkswagen Beetle. Cute. <laughs> Very girly. Pink house. Pink flowers. <laughs> How much was this one? Um, ba, 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 VW. £3.23 this one was. Let me turn it sideways so you can get it fully in shot. And let's do a little zoomy in. Right, now this one's got 25 colours in this one. You'd think there'd be a lot of pinks, but actually, looking at the legend, there's not that many. Most of it seems to be green. But that makes sense, since there's a lot of trees. Very, I'm not sure what house that is. Doesn't look very English, so maybe American or German? I don't know. But pretty, nevertheless, I can enjoy that. So this is another 30 by 40. Regular boat, and these are in the cuttable bags, so you have to cut these round gems that need cutting from this bag. Yeah, that's that one. What do you think of that one? Should you want me to put the the light board on maybe just on one see with this you could put it on one or two or three i mean for my bad eyes i have it on three so that i can see the little black letters but you might only need it on one or two two is not bad is it i'm not sure how much of a glare it's putting on the on here for you but that is the volkswagen beetle Pretty. Like it. Like it. Something different for me because I don't normally do sort of real looking flowers and houses and things. So this is why this time I went for something slightly different. Next. I, I don't know whether to leave this on or off. <laughs> what if I flick it on and off and then we get lots of choice. Next. Ooh. Gosh, I couldn't get that one out then for a second. Right. Ooh. Oh, this is the the lake sort of scene. Is it the lake or is it the beach? This one, I can't remember. No, it's got a boat and a pier. Idyllic house, anyway. <laughs> I think it, it looks like an inlet, so maybe it's a beach. But ooh, this one's got 21 different colours. Nice big open doors. Who wouldn't want that view? Look at it. You'd need a few million in the bank for that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's turn it sideways so we can get it all in and do a zoomy in. Let's put the light board on. That's on number two. Is that too much? Three. Let's put it on one. That's not so bad, is it? Let's leave it on number one. I'm thinking that might work for you. But for me, I need it brighter than that so I can see these letters. <laughs> what a pretty picture. 
No wonder it's called Perfect Now. <laughs> That's the name of it, look. And yeah, that looks perfect. Not that I'd get in that boat, because I probably wouldn't. But I'd like to be sitting there reading a book or doing diamond painting. Ugh. Or my laptop. Chatting to you guys. Trying not to brag about what I'm looking at. <laughs> that pretty is that one. So this is another 30 by 40. Um, slightly different to all the others, this, um, I've noticed. The layout and everything is... It's got a different feel about it. It's definitely slightly thinner in the canvas as well. But nevertheless, as long as this sticky is still good. But I love the picture. I hope that turns out okay, that picture. But we'll see, because I will do it and post it on the community tab like all the others. And show you. Regular boat. Not that boat. <laughs> and the regular have to open packets and these are round gems as well i mean it's not often you get square gems sometimes you'll go to look at one and it'll you can choose either round or square gems and i've done square gems i think just once so far but i have ordered one that's got squares it's obviously not this one but people say round's easier because you haven't got to line it up. Whereas the square ones, you've got to sort of straighten up, which I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It depends on the picture for me. So let's wrap this one up. That's picture number three and diamond art number four. How much was that scene? That scene was window view two pounds 17 next oh, there we go I found it now I know we've got dragon uh, flies and now this must be butterflies because I definitely ordered a <laughs> oh it's got stuck let go <laughs> This has got to be the butterflies one then. Yes. Oh, pretty, I can see it through. <laughs> Let's roll it the other way a little bit. So this is another 30 by 40. And it is called Butterflies, this one. Oh, very pretty. Some really pretty colours in this one. There's a lot of background, though. Hmm. Let's turn it sideways so you can get a full view of it and do a bit of zooming in. And there are 24 colours in this one. And again, in the legend on the side, it doesn't go A to Z sort of thing. It starts with XJW, another one that's mixed up. So maybe this one's made by the same people. But that's Butterflies, that one's called. And I paid... £2.79 for butterflies. 24 different colours. There's the regular boat that's come. Oh, look, this one has come with a little rubber handle protector. That's the first time I've seen a little rubber handle protector because I got some in my kit. Look, <laughs> on my pen here, I've got two purple ones on this pen. But they came in the kit that I bought. I've never had one of these. 
with the pen. And this one's come with the pen. That's nice. Just get, makes it a little bit more comfortable to hold when you put it on. And that's nice. It's nice the fact that it's come with that. I like that. Good. And these are regular round beads, drills, diamonds <laughs> in the cut packets that you have to do. Yep, nice. Like that. They could have squished more butterflies in there. Move that one over, you'd have got another butterfly in. So less background. That would have been nice. Like a little montage of butterflies. But hey -ho, for two quid. That'll keep me busy for a couple of days. <laughs> Ta -da! There's that one. Next. Last one. What is this one? Okay, what well, one have I got missing? I think I've got London Street missing. So this must be the London Street one. Let's have a look. Yes. Here's tears. Look, there's the post box and the phone box. Yeah. Kind of looks like what it does today, funnily enough. Let me turn it sideways. <laughs> so we get the whole picture in. That's exactly what it looks like today. <laughs> Let's have a zoom in. So what have we got here? We've got 20 colours on this one. Not a huge amount of colours on this one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what that says there. It's supposed to say phone, but that is never in a million years going to say phone if I follow the pattern. At least the Elizabeth Tower looks like the Elizabeth Tower, which uh, most people call Big Ben. But actually, Big Ben is the name of the bell on the inside of the tower. The tower is called Elizabeth Tower. But yeah, it's just a typical London scene of today and yesterday. <laughs> So this is another 30 by 40. Regular boat, no little grommet. And this time we've got, we've got round beads again. Yes, or no, I need to look closer. Yeah, still regular round beads. I just had to double check. It must be one that's coming in a later haul that's got the squares. And this one's already in the sealable packets, this one. Nice. Okay, that's something a bit different. There's an awful lot of sort of grey and black and dingy, you know, from the rain on this one. <laughs> it's not much colour. But it will keep me busy. Interested to see how well that one turns out. Okay. <laughs> that's that one done. That's all those done. I like the fact that that butterfly one came with the little uh, pen sponge holder thing. That was quite nice. All right, let's go back up. <laughs> okay, and these are all the feathers done. Ta -da. Um, let me get me rotten nails out of the way. There's that one. That one, I haven't put the um, the rings and the little gem on the ends yet. Purple being my favourite. <laughs> 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 
And the last one. Now, a lot of the gems don't completely match up with the picture. And I found one of the feathers. Actually, there's two of them. But this one in particular, it, it hasn't got any sticky on these numbers down the bottom there. So I'll have to glue them on myself. But that one actually fits the pattern quite nicely. But there's a few of them that don't really fit the pattern. They're a bit off pattern. Which one is it? I mean, it's, it's okay. It's just a hard bit of see-through plastic. It's a real shame it's not on both sides. And it's a shame you haven't got two feathers the same because I'd have stuck them together uh, back to back. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. I know they're bookmarks, but... I didn't love them. I enjoyed doing them because it's diamond painting, but and they were super quick, which is why we did the speed up so you can you can see that it was really quick and easy to do. They were a little disappointing to be honest. But that's them. Not sure what to do with them yet. <laughs> I'll think of something, I'm sure. And yeah, they were really tight for me to get on. I couldn't even get the little ring on the gem. So we'll have to come back to them. But I've already dug out my favourite picture. I think this is the one that I'm going to start doing. This one. Uh, I. It's just not anything that I've done at all before. It's an actual real sort of picture. But we'll see how that one turns out. So that's next. And I've already scanned through the site and picked out my next diamond paintings because I thought I'm getting seem to be getting through these of a little bit rapid. Although on the last the first two hauls, there was a few 30 by 30s, which are small, and let's I'm only picking out 30 by 40s. So I thought, because I'm trying to fill up my 30 by 40 book. But I might look at a bigger one to keep me occupied for maybe a week. <laughs> so we'll try that. I've already got the next Timu haul in as well. And I'm going to have the day doing this one. So I'm going to have some fun. So hopefully you've enjoyed that little diamond painting haul. <laughs> Till next time, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll catch you on the next Timu haul, which won't be that long. So until then, be good and look after yourself and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>